Hey, Ancinda. Welcome to the stream. We get to get to watch me get my ass kicked in Idol Showdown fairly soon. How are you doing today? Happy Friday. Should be checking time now, right by now. Oh, we got one more minute. We have a few seconds. Fifteen seconds now. And I still need to actually activate my avatar. Funny. Check in. And I am checked in. And let's go ahead and transition. There we go. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to another edition of VTuber Idol Show, or the VTuber Game Idol Showdown. We are participating in yet another, another tournament, this one held by Remy Celeste, who is also a VTuber. Doing good, very tired, but fun work from working on videos. Oh, at least he got some work done. <laughs> we will not be using our arms for this tournament because the collar does sometimes get in the way as far as like distractions concerned. Just checking to make sure everything else is functioning properly. Looks like it is. Cool. Don't mind me, just drinking some water. I'm not sure how long how long we're gonna last in this tournament, but we'll see how long it goes. I'll generally try to stream for about three hours or so. Sometimes shorter. Depending on what's going on. Gonna go pop in into the various discords and let people know I'm live as well. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Incinda. Hope you enjoy yourself here. We're basically, we're, I don't imagine that the main event, which is the actual tournament part, will last that long. Because my skill level is not the greatest, but we'll give it an honest try. Promo. Cool. That should be enough. Don't need to spam them everywhere, you know? Should mainly focus on the places that are important to you. More or less. Get all distractions out of the way. An idol fighting game? Yeah, you didn't know? This came out last Friday. It's taken the uh, fighting game communities on YouTube and Twitch by Storm, and it is fun. And it's free! That's the most important part, it's free. Free as in free, as in free. 
I'll show you. Let's go play some training sets. Check this shit out. Now, if I recall correctly, there was a really good, there was a uh, basic bread and butter that is easy enough that even I can pull it off. I better go check that really quick. Mizuno Idol Showdown. And I'll just shut down these, uh, I will just turn off these. I'll just uh, close out these Firefox instances later. To save resources, even though I'm fairly sure my computer can handle the strain, the little strain there is. I don't didn't really have much time to practice during the course of this week because I do work full time, so it's gonna be very scuffed. There's some already there are already some sick people in this community so you know survival is not guaranteed but let's try doing the basic launcher which is which I believe is so Why is it not letting me catch the... I wonder if it's because... That's why. It has to be clean. I'm not doing it fast enough. I might actually not be able to just... It might be better, in fact, since for some reason... So I'm fairly sure I'm doing it correctly. Unless, of course, I... What I'm doing is... No, 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 I am not tripping. It does not... It does not go into that anymore. I wonder if they change that? It might be... I might have to just go into directly into Chainsaw now from that maneuver. So let's try doing that. Something is strange here. Or is that only corner carry? It might be only ca corner carry, actually. That might be the reason why I can't do it from the side. 
Oh, so it is. Of course, they could still block it if you're not quick enough. Unless you do that. This is what they call a corner combo, and everyone needs to know at least one. To at least get some damage potential in there. Much of this game, much of fighting games, especially anime fighters like Strive, is basically just forcing your opponent into the corner, bullying the shit out of them. It's a lovely game. A lovely industry, isn't it? Alternatively, if they refuse, you could always just do that. I also never use this uh, super move, even though I really should remember that I have a super move. <laughs> Even if you don't get a combo perfectly, if you could at least do parts of it, just so that you have some tools to do, do some DPS, it's just fine. It might not be optimal, but sometimes being able to do some damage is better than no damage. Besides, the bigger problem is getting your opponent into such a situation where you can perform these moves. what else is going on here because this game is so new there are very little tutorials either so everyone is kind of just scrambling to forcibly teach themselves and to learn from each other so it's wild i played strive when it was new but back then i wasn't playing in any tournaments or anything like that and i wasn't playing it that hard so the learning process was a lot slower i guess that's to be expected though right but, um, yeah. This will be the second tournament, or Idol Showdown tournament I've participated in so far. This one actually has money involved, which has gone a lot, attracted a lot of players. Some people are already coming into DQ themselves because either things have come up or they've had second thoughts so we're going down from 253 players to god knows how many let me look over here view the matches so far, it looks like we're currently up against someone named Tomsta, whoever that is. Could be interesting. Let's try and get ourselves a lag advantage by making the room first. If we can. I don't think it would make much, uh, too much of a difference, but you never know. Alright. Let's try doing this move instead. Let's see now. Five. It's, uh, five, ten. What is 6H anyway? Do they really mean... Is 
it's weird. I should pr it'd probably be easier to practice these combos if I had a visual video to go off of, honestly. As opposed to going and trying to do them from a... From... Notation. But we gotta work with what we got. Note to self, use left punch. We also got this one. I don't know why I'm getting anxious again. It's weird how sometimes I get anxious before a fighting game tournament, sometimes I don't. I guess it's directly related to how seriously I take some decide to take something. I don't know why I'm taking this one seriously. You know that when Street Fighter 6 comes out, that's gonna be the real shit that's going on, but Idle Shutdown is fairly fun. Definitely enjoying it more than Strive recently. If only because Strive is taking their sweet time fixing network issues. The other danger of trying to practice combos too, labbing as it were, is that sometimes when you go into an actual battle, you start overthinking things instead of relying on your techniques that you're supposed to have honed. And I guess that could be applied to a lot of, not just video games, but also martial arts and sports in general. You don't want to get lost in the sauce that is theory crafting so much that you forget how to play. That's fucking disgusting, actually, that you can do that. You can just keep people in this fucking loop. Oh my god. Thus proving you don't, in fact, need to have necessarily a long combo string. Each and each additional hit tends to reduce the damage anyway. So even though it's extremely impressive to get a 30 hit or 64 hit combo, there's a reason you don't necessarily die immediately. Oh, that was terrible. I should never do that again. This is also acceptable, I suppose. But what if I... Damage is damage. I should definitely be playing against something I could fight back. Hard is kind of dumb levels of difficulty, but it's a start, I suppose. It appears I've forgotten how to play, chat. So we're off to a great start already. <laughs> Even if we were to consider that... 
with the CPU cheats, they literally are input reading. What time is it? We got 11 minutes until our first fight. What a waste. One second here, chat is reading through something. Seven minutes. Let's get this stream started. You know what? That works. Bruh. Did I get burst baited by the CPU? Oh my god.
the shit posting has already begun in the Discord channel for in the Discord channel for this tournament, and I'm here for it. It's gonna be brutal. We got five minutes. Oh, that's disappointing. Even the medium CPU is difficult. You could tell her input reading that the CPU is an input reader. You said new to jump along with me. Three minutes. All right. We are not warmed up. We are not ready. It is Friday. And we are here for it. Create. Copy the clipboard. Who is our first opponent going to be? Someone named Tomsta. Playing against someone named Gone Beast. Everyone's saying good luck, have fun, and we are ready, getting ready to rumble. The largest per, two person idol showdown tournament with uh, 250 participants. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get down to business.
I actually don't know how we're supposed to report scores. Here we go. That is one loss. Say hi to Thank you for the...
And that's our first loss. I'm gonna go ahead and report it now. Um, how do you report this? Oh, there we go. Uh, how do you do this? I don't know what's Oh my fucking god, my opponent that I just fought just now didn't check into the tournament. So, who am I supposed to be fighting against next then? Uh I think I fought the wrong person. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this tournament now. According to this, I was supposed to fight someone named Nightwire, and I auto DQ'd, and now I'm in losers, and it's waiting for whoever, whoever I'm supposed to be fighting up against next. Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention to chat. Or paying attention to chat. Hi, everyone. Thank you for the head pats and the Hydra redeems and the gamer prides.
Uh, did you win everything? Are you the world champion? No, I'm unfortunately not the world warrior. Uh, something went terribly wrong, and for some reason, uh, even though I'm fairly sure I was supposed to fight this person, and they beat my ass, it showed that neither of us were supposed to fight each other, and we ended up both getting DQ'd from the first round. And it looks like other people are also getting kind of confused too in chat. It says here that I'm supposed to be facing someone next fairly soon. So I'm going to go check who I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to fight whoever the loser is of AD. Um, whoever that is. A fight between Ranker and Winner of... Um, oh man. It might be... It could be that the tournament structure is falling apart because there are over 230 plus people participating in this tournament. And that's kind of a lot of people, you know? <laughs> so I guess we're just going to sit and chill until start.gg shows who I'm supposed to fight against. So how's everyone's uh, Friday going? And I just saw here that I just got pinged several times by someone named Nightwire, letting me know that I was going to get about to get DQ'd. Oh, this is such a mess. It's Saturday, work, work, and more work. It's certainly a mood. So much for starting early. My, so I think what might have happened is it's possible that the brackets got, got switched up somehow literally right after the tournament started at 5. 
and as a result, whatever I was looking at at the time was wrong. So when a bunch of us started like pinging each other for matches immediately, we pinged the wrong person. But unfortunately, a lot of other people are also having this problem too. They're getting DQ'd to losers bracket, <laughs> regardless of what actually happened. Yeah, what happened was a lot of people DQ. <laughs> I think they should have because um, a lot of, at the, like an hour before the tournament started, at least a dozen people actually DQ themselves because they didn't have they couldn't they can no longer play right. So the bracket kept constantly kept getting shuffled around, and literally at the very last moment, people popped into the Discord to try and join it because they saw that the thing was still open. And they were like, why isn't it letting me join the bracket? It's not full yet. It's only at 253. 253 people. So, it's it's definitely a mess right now. I'm constantly refreshing uh, the bracket on my end. And it's still showing that I had to fight the loser of AD. Whatever a loser of AD is supposed to be. Um, I don't know. This is such a mess. Another person, it, more and more people are actually popping into the chats to complain that for some reason they're getting auto, <laughs> auto disquality queued and auto loss. Two hundred and fifty people though is a lot, and there's only there are only five tour or tos right now. That's kind of a lot of people to <laughs> watch. Oh, I'm finding in someone named my rank right now. All right. All right, let's go make the room really quick. Copy the clip. Oh, it's gotten even worse. My next opponent is aware that we're supposed to be fighting ourselves, but they say that it's not letting them check in. Okay, it looks like it just... It looks like it... They just checked in.
Okay. Here we go. Here's our next opponent. Wonder who we're fighting against next. I should we say. Let's get down to business. Oh, nice command grab. What is with this lag, though? Ah. One more game. Welcome to the show. And that's it. We're knocked out of the tournament. I say GG's, but it was actually BG's. I'm just kidding. But yeah, um, that was actually painful. For a lot of reasons. Why is it still showing? It probably doesn't help that I didn't understand how to use start.gg and it seems like so did a lot of other people.
sometimes I wonder, why did I start throwing myself into these tournaments despite having, like, no skill in fighting games whatsoever? And honestly, I don't know. If I had to guess, it has something to it's probably for the same reason why in college, especially, I started going out of my way to join clubs and such. It's not like I was making a career path or anything out of them. It was just an excuse to try and force yourself into uncomfortable situations in the hope that you get used to them. Help fight anxiety? I guess that's part of it. When I first started joining the tournaments in the VTuber fighting game community, I was so anxious joining those, and now it's just like an excuse to just play fighting games with people. I don't even really care if I win or lose. If I do happen to win a couple of matches and progress in the tournament, that's a cause for celebration. But otherwise, I just end up play, spending the rest of the stream playing uh, sets with people in, the, in what we jokingly, lovingly call the, loser, the uh, loser's chat. <laughs> The loser, uh, the loser chat. Anyway, so it's kind of a midpoint. Did the same te with Tekken Five tournaments in my local arcade. Tekken was also one of those things that um, I think Strive was one of the first fighting games I played aside from Smash, where I didn't really mind losing that much. It doesn't hurt as much as Tekken did. Tekken always feels personal. I think. I don't know why it does, it just kind of does. I think it has something, it might have something to do with the fact that the skill floor of Tekken is really, really high compared to Strive. Also, traditionally, I've never been that great at enemy, at enemy fighting games as compared to other fighting games. Strive I was able to get away with because, strictly for the fact that it is the easiest of the Guilty Gears and also plays a lot more like Street Fighter, which I'm more familiar with than it, it does as a full-on Guilty Gear game. It's weird coming from me too because I grew up playing Melty Blood of all games, right? So you'd think I'd be used to this sort of thing and Melty Blood it's like, no, I still get I still get ticked off when the game gets reduced to a um, to a combo vid, but at the same time I can't show them ticked off because this is literally what you sign up for when you play Melty Blood. Um, at the same time I would say that Idol Showdown, even when you remove the uh, the jank, remove some of the, or fix up some of the balance, it's at the end of the day still, I would say, a fairly easy to get into anime style fighting game. It probably helps that it's free too, so there's a lot more people to play with that aren't as goated, that are just dipping their feet into this kind of style for the first time. That's why it's actually possible for me to find people that I can play against, I might win a few set, take a few sets off of every now and then. Uh, I think more, I was oddly, surprisingly enough, more upset with losing against the Suisse player just now instead of against the Corone player, because I can't play against other Corone players for shit, but um, with some of the other characters, even with Botan, it's just a, ma it's just a matter of, do you know when to push buttons, do you know when to punish and like I know that this game has only been out a week literally it came out last Friday so even if I were to go with the whole oh it's a knowledge check thing it doesn't hold as much water because everyone has only been playing this game for a week it, but at the same time it's like there's some things I hate it when you know what's coming and then you fail to block it anyway yeah I have a hard time against Botan still, Botan still uh, as well. It's just that I've ended up finding out that you can grab Botan. I am still can't... I, the last time I streamed this was just a couple of days ago. Um, I ended the stream with having defeated a Botan once after he beat me three times in a row. And it was by grabbing them. I grabbed them three times, and they were unintentional grabs too. They were from... I grabbed them... Both times I grabbed them, which led, which ended in me winning, was right after doing an air doog, which is really funny. So I do the air doog, they block the doog on as I'm coming down, and then I grabbed them immediately, and they weren't expecting it. And this happened to them three times in a row, so they're starting to get pissed. Um, 
I imagine it's the sort of thing you would only ever be able to do against people a few times before they get smart and start, they start getting conditioned to expect it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I should, I don't think there's actually any shame in hiding, that, hiding, being upset at losing in a fighting game anyway. It's a more, it's less about being upset and it's more about what you do, what you, how you choose to go from there. There's probably going to be more Idol Showdown tournaments in the future, so I wouldn't mind playing in more of those, even though I'm trash. And pretty much everything was going, was, everything was kind of going against me this week anyway. I didn't get that much time to play. I've been spending too much time trying to correct other aspects of my life that are outside streaming. Ah, uh, fuck Blizzard, Activision Blizzard. It's besides, Street Fighter Beta is starting next week, so I have to get in on that. <laughs> I'll probably be streaming Street Fighter Six, Street Fighter Six when that comes out, and that's gonna be kind of brutal. At the same time, it will be all the fighting games are brutal in way are compared when you compare all the fighting games to each other. They're brutal in ways that they're not, and they're easier in ways that they're not. So we'll see how that turns out for us. In the meanwhile, is there anyone in chat that would like to play some Idol Showdown? If not, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to try and do from here. Um, I wanted to play the campaign mode of Idol Showdown. The problem is, there is currently a, a pretty nasty bug. And the game will not let me rebind the item to something I can actually use. And it's not just for... Uh, the click box either. It's also a problem for keyboard. So I functionally cannot play I actually cannot play the campaign mode of the game and I did try playing it at first thinking that oh I could probably just play without items, but here's the thing your health doesn't change between matches in the campaign mode So if you're half dead already from one match when you go to your next one You're going to start the game with the match with half health So it is kind of necessary I guess what I could do instead then is play arcade and keep playing arcade until I eventually be arcade. I guess it's always a possibility. I feel kind of lightheaded too. <laughs> Still kind of bummed out that all that sh uh, all that shit happened with the uh, brackets being messed up. Every channel is filled with people trying to find their matches. What a beautiful jank mess, mech, or uh, jank mess. There are currently 246 attendees, looks like. Your placement will be finalized at the end of the event. Uh, bottom zero, probably? Alternatively, I could cut my losses now and just uh, raid into Remy Celeste and go play something else. Or raid into Remy Celeste and go relax, nurturing a thoroughly torn apart ass uh, the rest of the evening. I can, or we could play Strive, I suppose.
Some people are having lag issues. Hmm. Eh, fuck it. Let's try and beat arcade mode. If you can't even- how can you expect to play against real people if you can't even beat the AI, PogChamp? Our forehead. Say so. Did I just get cogged to death? I am getting hugged to death. What the hell? Someone complaining in chat about, dude, why were you laggy? Well, I don't know. Maybe their internet's not as good happens, you know? I like also that there's a fairly strong community of players for this game so you can actually get matches <laughs> in a relatively short period of time Bruh. Something I don't get. 
Why well, I was having trouble going backwards? Were my nerves just all over the place so I wasn't pushing the button correctly, or...? I'll need to watch those matches back again, but I'm fairly sure that there's something going on. Not that it matters now, of course. It could even just be an network latency, or the game being jank. Bro, did she just bounce off the wall? This AI be like... I should probably convert that. There we go. This is the first time I've done a stream in a while where I didn't use my Leap Motion controller. Since the tournament's now over and I'm just kind of messing around, I should probably go put those arms back on, huh? Not gonna lie though, I kind of feel like I'm gonna pass out a bit. We might not stream as late this evening, chat. We might actually stop around two hours or two hours or so. Oh man, this tournament is a mess. Some people are arguing on whether or not on who actually won or not. However, a few more than a few people are actually recording their games, which is helping solve some of taking some of the guesswork out at the very least. Some people are reporting they can't even check in. Why am I passing out? 
Uh, I didn't sleep very well last night. And also, I kind of went full throttle at work today because we are really in the in the shithole. Just little things. I think I'm also kind of anxious from playing in such a big fighting game tournament outside of our relatively niche group of uh, VTuber, or VTuber friends. It wasn't as scary when it actually started getting when we started getting around with those just some logistical issues, the sort of things you would expect from running a fucking tournament with more than 200 people. But... Yeah. One moment, Pekko. Death by Let's go again. <laughs> the sheer number of people forgetting to accept in Star GG and getting DQ'd is too damn high. And I count myself among that number. I just wasted my burst for no reason. I just realized that her ponytails are not actually connected to her head. Hmm? 
Didn't she block that? Oh, it whiffed. We finally made it to Botan. Let's get down to business. Not even any music. That's not ominous at all. Kind of spooky, honestly. What a waste of a special. It's the last level of arcade, stage eight, against Coco, no less. At least we could say we got good enough to finally beat the arcade mode, which is already an improvement, all things considered. Oh my god. Did she just kill me with her boobs? I expect nothing less from him, Coco. Honestly. Risu comes in to save the day. Final stream. Live. Can I finally beat the arcade mode of this game? That'd be nice. It would honestly be a nice way to end the stream that at the very least I did achieve something. Even more so when you consider that the CPU cheats in this game. Like legit cheat, like le legit cheats. 
And you need to outplay the CPU at its own game of reading your move list. And a new cosplay for Kruin as well. Awesome. What did we unlock? Hey, Steel. That's not... Well, I mean... I wouldn't say that every fighting game CPU necessarily reads your inputs. Or if they do, they're a lot better about hiding it than... Uh, most are. Because in... Idle Showdown, it's plainly obvious that that's what's going on. Yeah, no kidding. Stealing your combos from the CPU isn't that bad though. Especially in the case of a game like Idle Showdown. Because even though they're not necessarily optimal, they're decent combos to use. Wait, what am I doing? Io, I appear to have unlocked the M Bison skin. It seems. What's funny? Yeah, I think that's the reason why they gave her the bison skin. Specifically because... Specifically as a reference to that. Man, I am just not energetic right now, am I? Yeah, we can play a couple games and then I think I'll take a nap. <laughs> Let me... Exit this disc. Let me fight this guy first and then we'll play. 
Oh, region mismatch. Your gameplay might not be... That's not good. A Fubuki player, no less. Seven rollback frames? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you hit the ceiling in this stage, it actually causes glass to fall down? Wow. That's not the sort of thing you typically see in games like this. Yeah, this is actually kind of unplayable. I'm not gonna lie. It's rollback frames are 7. The ping is 99, but this slowdown is so bad that it's just not even... Half the moves aren't even coming out. Not that it matters, I suppose. I'm pretty sure it's game over. See you next time. We are not rematching. Bad latency is bad. Alright, Steel, let's play a couple of games. I'll just post. I'm just gonna post the um, lobby code here in chat.
No problem, take your time. <sighs> Why is... Here we go. Good luck, have fun. Let's get down to business. That was close. Should not have won that one. It was only a smidgen though. Bruh. Oh my god, really? Why is it not fucking working? Really? Wow, I wasted my super. Awesome. That's just great. Well, it does have a maximum range, so I shouldn't be too surprised.
Coco is actually fairly strong. Then again, I haven't fought enough Cocos to determine why people don't like him. Or the people why think she why people think she's low tier. I could I do think that her Potemkin Busker could do some more damage though. But that fucking Raptor annoys the shit out of me. Is that Rusha in the background? I just realized. Kinda looks like her. Confidence also plays a huge part in games like this. I wish I could have pulled off some of the more ballsy moves that I've been doing. But it's something about a tournament environment which starts to fuck you up if you let it get to you too much. Second two lay on your collab. Oh, I actually managed to land it for once. Wow. <laughs> Crab walk? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, this game sometimes. I was too distracted by the crab walk to catch up. Good shit. GG's. Oh man, why am I so tired? One more match and then we'll call it a stream.
Oh my god. I am garbage at this game. <laughs> I was trying to do the Isekai truck, and I didn't have all the power bars I need. Yeah, no shit. Alright, that's enough uh, idle shit on. It's quite obvious that I'm in no state to play to play video right now, so I'm gonna call it for now. Take a nice nap. We are, of course, going to raid. Our reset. Uh, what's their. What's their name again? Shit, I can't even remember the name of the tournament of the uh, VTuber whose tournament I just joined. That's pretty bad. GG's. Uh, Reese. Thank you for the stream. Uh, oh, Infiltration, I didn't see you there. Uh, no problem. I'm glad you enjoyed. Unfortunately, my combat performance has much to, leaves much to be desired. Not to mention, well, just the fact that not enough sleep, hungry, uh, burned out from work. I I don't I you know I don't like giving excuses for my or for my um I don't like giving excuses. Period. But it is what it is, as they say. No, I actually I did not do my best. That's what pisses me off. It's one thing to do your best and still come out on the bottom because. Your skill is just not as strong as someone else's skill. But it always feels worse when you know that you didn't do as well as you could have. But it doesn't matter. There will be other tournaments in the future. Thank you for a dehydrated redeem. Come, let us raid Remy Celeste, who is hosting this tournament. Let's make sure to hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. I will be sure to. All right, chat. It's time for UB UB. This is our raid message tonight. See y'all later. <laughs>